This happened moments ago. The car was pulled out of the canal there. Uh, there were three cars all tangled together. They pulled all of them out. The suspect's car was inspected by those teams on the scene. They did not find the bodies in the car. Two windows were open, and the sheriffs now fear that the bodies of the two are in the canal, somewhere possibly downstream. They are planning to resume their search tomorrow morning. Uh, they are still continuing to gather information about what's in the car, what uh, they plan to do next in terms of this search for four-year-old Giuliani Cardenas. With us now is Crown Force Jonathan Bloom. He has a closer look at where all of this is unfolding. Jonathan. Pam, we've been looking at primarily two locations in Patterson. The first is the home of Tabitha. That's Giuliani's mother. The second, about 4.2 miles away, is this search location. That's the canal where the car was just found. As we go in for a closer look on our Google Earth map, you can see it's a pretty easy drive from one to the other. Here's the home located on the north end of Patterson in a very residential neighborhood. If you leave that neighborhood and head out into the country, it's pretty much a straight shot down through a large patch of farmland, 4.2 miles, to the spot where authorities believe that car took a left turn, veered off the road, and landed in this canal. Now, the water in the canal flows from north to south, and so it then it's not that much of a surprise that the car would have landed in the water and immediately been sucked down into what we call a siphon. Now, this canal at most spots is about 20 feet deep, but here at this spot, the canal is actually 100 feet deep, and this is where they believe the car got stuck. The reason for this is because the canal actually goes underneath a natural creek bed, and so it has to actually go through a man-made series of tunnels known as siphons, and the car was lodged in this one, the westernmost siphon, a concrete tunnel about 15 feet wide that's just narrow enough for that 16-foot Toyota Corolla to get stuck, and that's why dive teams staged on the west side of the canal had to go in, attach a harness to that car, and pull it up using a winch located on this side of the canal. You've been looking at those live pictures. Our TV cameras are located on this side of the canal, so you've been looking in a westerly direction across the canal to where that Toyota Corolla was lodged. Now, the water is very, very cold, very deep, and moves very swiftly, and when they pulled the car out, as we mentioned, they did not find any bodies in that car. Uh, the reason for that is unknown at this point, whether the, uh, the two managed to escape or whether their bodies were swept out of the car or something else that we haven't even thought of yet. But as a result of that, now they will be looking all the way down this canal, the Delta Mendota Canal, for miles and miles and miles to see if they can find any evidence that the two people who were in the car have been washed up in this canal and are floating somewhere downstream. But they will have a lot of canal to cover, and it will maybe days before we find out what happened to those two people. Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.